Hi everyone. First, I just want to say sorry I can't be there with you today in the moment live, um, but at least one benefit of this virtual environment is that I can pre-record this video and send it over and still be with you. Um, so my name is Sarah Kirby. I'm going to first share a few details about myself. I'm 26 years old. I live in downtown Chicago, Illinois, but I'm about to make a big move to Austin, Texas. I love to dance, cycle, and travel, especially abroad. Uh, one trip I took recently that was really a favorite of mine was Sedona, Arizona, so check that out if you've never heard of it. Um, you might notice that this is sounding a bit like a dating profile, but there's a very specific reason why I chose not to lead with details like what I do, where I work, or what I studied while at Illinois Tech. And that's because today I'd like to talk about the road to self-discovery and how university can and should be about much more than the degree you're getting or the job you plan to get afterwards. So it wasn't all that long ago that I was in the same position as you all, having just made or about to make my college decision. And it's a really exciting and dynamic time, but it's also extremely overwhelming. I personally was feeling really pressured to make the perfect decision because it feels like the weight of, about, of what you're about to do is going to impact your whole life. Not only do you have all these applications to fill out and all the essays they make you write, but you've got to figure out what's the right school for me? How am I going to pay for it? What major am I going to choose? And then there's the more existential part of it, which is, am I going to be happy here? Am I going to fit in and make friends? Am I going to find community? Am I going to be successful afterwards? Will I get a good job? And how can I ensure that this experience is gonna go how I want it to? So needless to say, it can be overwhelming. And that was before virtual environment. And I imagine a lot of you are feeling the weight of this um, like nobody else ever has before because you might not have even had the opportunity to visit these schools in person and really get a feel for them. And so it can be hard to feel confident in the decision that you're making. And while it's true, your college decision is a pivotal time. It's important and it should be taken seriously. I'm here to tell you, you are what makes your college experience successful. While there is something to say for one school's advantage over another and how your journey might look different depending where you go, at the end of the day, the success is up to you. Your life is going to take so many twists and turns from the point at which you're at right now that even something that feels so critical in the moment can't make or break you. So you might be thinking right now, how does she know? Sarah, you didn't even tell us what you studied, what you do, how your life turned out after college. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about my journey and, and why I really believe it's true that the success is in your hands and it's up to you no matter the external circumstances. So I came into Illinois Tech as a starry-eyed freshman to study aerospace engineering. And at this time, it seemed like the perfect decision for me. I had been obsessed with outer space since my earliest days. My idols were Carl Sagan and Richard Feynman. I had uh, a telescope that I would look out every single night that Chicagoland would give me a clear sky. But in the first few days of my coursework, I immediately knew that it wasn't quite what I thought it would be, and I wasn't feeling really passionate about what I was studying. So I sort of fumbled around the first year, making friends, joining communities, learning, but something was off. So by the end of my freshman year, I switched to chemical engineering. And at the time, I was just kind of haphazardly choosing, to tell you the truth. I was good at chemistry, so I thought, okay, if aerospace wasn't it, it must be chemical. So I kept studying, I kept making friends, but the coursework still wasn't feeling quite so aligned. So I decided to take a co-terminal degree and add a master's that I hope would feel more like me. And so I added biological engineering into the fold. And that was feeling a lot better to me. I, it was something that I could delve into and learn about and never get sick of. It was so interesting. And um, I worked in labs on campus. I met a ton of people and developed closer relationships with my professors. So I finally felt like I had maybe 
landed on the subject that was going to work for me. And I was grateful that Illinois Tech made it so easy for me to switch around and really find what was right for me because I sure as heck did not know at 18 years old what it was really going to look like and what I really wanted it to be. Meanwhile, the entire time I had been really getting involved heavily in the student community. For uh, quite some time, I was a resident advisor, so I was in the dorms helping create community and it was a blast. I loved every second of it. And I really started to love my college experience. So I inquired with the Office of Admission about becoming a student tour guide. So back before COVID, you know, I would have been the girl that was walking backwards around campus shouting to you about how great it was. <laughs> and I met a ton of people and uh, had my first experience really working in an office in a collaborative environment with people of all different backgrounds. And so while I was listlessly flying around the campus trying to decide what was actually going to light my spark for my studies, I was actually having a great time because I found the importance of community through my extracurricular work and particularly through the admissions office where I really felt like I was at home and made a ton of friends. And through that work, I discovered something about myself that was really important, which is um, working with people having the ability to have a really close-knit team and office culture that I could have fun at uh, was perhaps even more important to me than what I was studying because it made getting up and going to work every day fun, no matter what we were doing, even if the work was hard. So I learned through that experience that there was more to consider than just what the degree was on paper. And I understood about myself that working with people was paramount for me and that I had to find a way to bridge my technical skills with my love of people. So I began to consider alternative routes for after graduation. Suddenly working in a lab or a chemical plant for the rest of my life was no longer appealing. So through my Illinois Tech Network and the Cal Camera Scholars Program, I connected with people at all different kinds of companies one of which is my current employer, Slalom Consulting. Connecting with the Illinois Tech alumni at Slalom helped me to understand how my engineering skill set would fit in in enterprise management consulting, which is basically a fancy way of saying that you're a doctor for business. You help businesses figure out how to run more efficiently, improve their operations, their culture, and solve some of their largest problems. You wouldn't think that a chemical engineering background would necessarily translate to those things, but it was the alumni who helped me see how my problem solving and critical thinking skills from engineering would be the perfect fit and really a cutting edge in the world of business. So I've been working at Slalom for three years now and I've enjoyed every second of it. It's taken so many twists and turns. I've learned so many things, stepped out of my comfort zone, met people I wouldn't have otherwise known, and it's been fantastic for me and for my career. So while my journey is unorthodox, there are lessons that I hope everyone can benefit from. And the first is that you have to listen to your instincts. Only you can decide what's right for you, not what anybody else thinks you should be doing. And once you've made that choice, it's up to you to make it successful. Secondly, I think what's much more important than the degree on paper, the school you go to, or what you do, is your ability to adapt and remain versatile. In today's world, things change faster than ever before. And with the uncertainty of these times, we have no idea what the future is going to look like. We certainly know that technology will be a part of it, but the only thing that we can guarantee is that it's going to change and quickly. So you need a skill set that can grow and evolve as you do. You need a strong foundation that can support you through all of life's twists and turns. And most importantly, you need a community and a network of people that will support you and help you build the confidence that you need to discover who you are today and also who you're becoming tomorrow. I found all of those things at Illinois Tech and so I'm biased and I believe that you can find them too. I laid a strong foundation that's helped me to adapt as my interests have changed it's kept me versatile and uh, innovative during a time where everything is different than it's ever been. 
And most importantly, I did find community, mentorship, and friends that are still very much so a part of my life today. So I'll leave you with this. In today's world and with the advent of technology, you can be wildly successful at almost anything, but it really is up to you to make it or break it. So you've got to learn from your experience. Choose what you love, find your people, because you certainly can't do it alone. And embrace change, because change is really the only thing we can ever predict. Thanks so much for having me. It was a pleasure to be here with you today.